This topic is a slight departure from my usual deep dives into space and aerospace, but I know my tech-savvy subscribers share the same long-standing disappointment with fusion energy promises that I do. We've heard unlimited clean power in 30 years for decades, but a neutronic fusion might finally be the lane that delivers. Let's imagine a near future powered by it, then explore why it's different and why billions are pouring in right now. Standard fusion uses deuterium tritium. It produces energetic neutrons that damage reactions reactors and create waste. A neutronic skips that. The leading reaction, a proton slams into boron 11, yielding three alpha particles and clean energy. No neutrons. That means up to 90% efficiency. No inefficient steam cycles. Minimal shielding. No long-lived waste. Abundant fuels from seawater and common elements. Reactors could be compact enough for ships, planes, or distributed grids. This isn't just cheaper. It's fundamentally better engineering. The catch? It demands temperatures over over a billion degrees, 10 times hotter than DT, and fights massive X-ray losses. Net energy has remained elusive until now. December 2025, TAE Technologies secures a $6 billion merger. Kepler Fusion goes public. Helion advances polarized fusion. Private capital is betting big because success means energy too cheap to meter. This isn't government timelines. It's venture speed disruption. TAE's Norman reactor already hits 100 million degrees Celsius. LPP Fusion claims boron breakthroughs with dense plasma focus. HB11 Energy pursues laser-driven simplicity. Multiple horses in this race and they're accelerating. When this and humanity gets abundant safe power without climate impact or geopolitical fuel wars. Lose it and we stay chained to today's grid indefinitely. The payoff is civilization scale. A neutronic fusion isn't guaranteed, but for the first time, serious money and talent are treating it like the breakthrough it could be. Is this finally the fusion that delivers? Beyond unlimited clean energy on Earth, a neutronic fusion could revolutionize space propulsion. The reaction produces charged particles, no neutrons, so we can direct them through a magnetic nozzle for thrust, or convert their energy straight to electricity with minimal waste heat and almost no shielding. NASA studies say this could cut Mars trips dramatically, enable crewed missions to the outer planets, and truly open up the solar system. The promise over hype meter shows a wide open runway. We'll keep this subject on the T-Minus Now radar. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.